In this video I want to show an old uh, germanium transistor audio amplifier from Philips. This is the date stamp on the chassis, 14 May 1968. It's made with uh, germanium transistors in the end stage and silicon, silicon transistors in the preamplifier circuits. You see the back side. Very interesting, I think, how it all was made in those days. The copper leads, printed board, and here is the component side. All made in a classical way and with high quality components for those days. These capacitors are, for instance, very high quality and um, the potentiometers were from a high quality, but nowadays they give a lot of uh, cracking sounds. But that's not the aim from this video. The aim is to show how good this amplifier still works nowadays, in 2012. These were the good quality silicon transistors, also made by Philips in those days. The BC147B. Later they developed the BC547B and uh, that's a very very popular, popular transistor still nowadays. I have a lot of them still. And the electrolytics. And here the, the driver transistors here. AC types. I think AC188 and AC187. And here the Entel sisters, very famous, famous in those days, the AD161 and the AD162. AD so two complementary end stages. Here you see the uh, temperature uh, dependent resistors, they were very necessary because uh, germanium transistors suffer a lot from temperature changes. Their quiescent current goes up dramatically when they get too hot. So they can destruct themselves and that's the reason why this uh, temperature compensated circuit was mounted. I want to show the music now. I hope it will succeed. Using it from Olita Adams. Played on this box, it's a modern box, modern loudspeaker box. Of course, uh, those days the boxes were not uh, so very uh, sophisticated, though they could give a very proper sound. I experimented in those days also with, with loudspeaker boxes. In the 70s, I mean. And when you hear the sound from this germanium amplifier, it still sounds very good. And from this amplifier one channel is defective. I don't have enough time to repair it. But uh, the aim from this video was to show how it sounds. <laughs> 